Hi, welcome back to our YouTube channel, Nick. I've had such a good response from our last cookery um, video to do with the chutney what we made, the homemade chutney ready for Christmas, that we've decided to do some more. Now, this is a real special corker of a, a recipe, and this one is quite special to me, because this recipe goes back to my dear old granny. sat on this recipe because I'm not a cook as you can see but I've been sat on this recipe for some time and there's a few tweaks to it but I can always remember the good old days going down my grand's house near Christmas and that lovely smell of what we're about to do now and we couldn't wait to get stuck into it because it's good old-fashioned cooking um, at its best a real special recipe and, and um, one which I've never seen anybody follow before. I've looked at loads online and there's loads of variations, but none quite like me grands. So let's get cracking. And um, as you can see, we're festive in the kitchen today. Zoe's here, she's around helping me. And uh, here she is. And uh, she's doing her own thing. She's cooking some other things off, which we'll be hopefully filming and bringing to you at a later date. But uh, let's get started anyway. Now, I've doubled up on some uh, measurements, what my gran used to do. So uh, I'm doing 450 grams of plain flour. <laughs> you may wonder why I'm looking down. I have, have it written down because I can't remember these things these days. Uh, four teaspoons of ground ginger. Uh, one teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda, 200 grams of golden castor sugar, 200 grams of softened butter, and 200 grams of golden syrup. Now, we're going to mix a few things together. So we've got the, the, uh, the softened butter, we've used um, brown sugar here, haven't we Zoe? Yeah. And we've got the little bits and pieces, we've got the flour, we've got the syrup. And uh, hopefully you'll be able to follow along with the other camera. And um, <laughs> anyway, uh, I'll put the recipe below because I think at the end of the day, when you see the results, you're going to be amazed and you're just going to, your mouth is going to water because you want to try it. So uh, anyway, let's get cracking, huh? shall we Zoe? Yeah, okay. Carry so on. we're going to mix the flour and the sugar together and yeah. add the butter. So. So, we put the flour into the bowl. Now the reason for doing this one is, now bear in mind I've washed my hands, I've sterilized the work surface, so health and hygiene are uh, paramount. So I'll just mix that around, just, just give it a mix by hand. The reason for doing this recipe is, it's simple. It's easy to follow and it can be done within an hour really well it's only a few minutes in the oven but um you know by the time we get sorted and everything and now we add the butter right now this is quite an important part because we've got to find a nice breadcrumb texture to it so this this is a bit of a where you mix it nicely into the so thank you zoe and um, we'll just scoop that into, oh, it's starting to harden off again. Right. Here we go. Right, this is where you get, you work your hands in and get stuck in. Thank you. So use your fingertips on this. Hopefully the other camera pick this up and just knead it around. Squidge it out in between the fingers. Mm, it's quite a nice texture, actually. <laughs> um, so I can remember watching Gran do this many a day for Christmas, and, and she literally made hundreds of these ginger biscuits. 
we used to really pig into them so much so uh, I've added a little bit more ginger this time because it's um, just wanted a little bit more knead it through the fingers you see the Christmas tree in the background lovely I love this feeling of Christmas getting all festive especially in the kitchen the smells um, Um, and uh, let us know in the comments below what you're doing for Christmas, what you're uh, what you're up to, or what you're cooking, what your favourite recipes are. Make a comment. Let's get this community chatting and see where we um, where we go with any more recipes. But uh, be good to know what you make of this one if you follow this one. Right, so we're nearly there actually, and um, I just hope. That, the, that camera can catch that. It's like a very fine bread crummy type. So I'm going to, I'm now going to wash my hands um, and get that all of that off of there. So that's that bit done. Okay. So now we've done the bread crumbs, we have the syrup. Now, the golden syrup. Now, this is my favourite bit. It looks amazing, just that. Okay, just run it in. Do I mix that in with the spoon? You've got to put the ginger and the five crab in as well. Oh. Okay, as much as that as you can. Okay, we've got the golden syrup in there like that. Now we're going to add the ginger, the bicarbonate, and the freshly ground ginger as well. So a little bit extra there what we made. Add all that in like that. That's that one. That's the washing up for Zoe later. And start mixing in. This is the physical part. So really, I'm working out as well. Isn't that right, Zoe? You are done. Because we all need that bit of exercise to burn off the calories ready for Christmas to eat some more of these. Right. Push it down in that there's another. Oh, oh. God, I think that's nearly there. So just get the leftovers off the spoon. Like so. Now I'm gonna get stuck in with my hands now. And this is where we mix it in. Gently. Nice and gently. And start to form a, a nice big ball with it. Gently. Now this is going to form a nice big ball and then we're going to pop that in the fridge aren't we for a few minutes just to on some grease proof paper we're going to wrap it in some grease proof paper or you can use cling film am i right in saying that Zoe? there you are and um popping it in the fridge to go off a bit oh that was, that was unplanned that bit is that My assistant will move the bowl. So that's how we formed it into a nice big ball. And just put it in the center. Yeah. And just put it in the center of the grease food paper, like so. Okay. the sides in. Just take the sides in, like that. As though you're wrapping up the white Christmas present. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where's that go? Okay. And that 
So we'll get, then we pop that into the fridge. Right, pop that in the fridge. I'm just gonna wipe over the work surface, do all the business, get it cleaned up for the next stage. Okay, that goes in the fridge. Let it cool for 20 minutes, around 20 minutes, and then I'll be straight back with the next stage. So it's about this time you wanna stick the oven on, bring it up to 190 degrees C for a fan oven. That's 170 on the conventional. Um, gas Mark V, I believe, Zoe? That's correct. Right. Um, now, we're gonna, at this point, I put the baking paper on the trays. And um, just a word of advice here from the Oracle. Um, not that my my gran never had a, a a fan oven, but you put a little bit of oil on the baking tray, put the paper on the top. It just saves that paper. Am I right in saying so? That saves the paper from blowing up with the fan and just getting underneath. So allows all the cooking to go down through the, the biscuit. But you are um, right, Paul. is that right? You are right. Thank you very much. And I'm now laying that one in there, like so. Now, what we're gonna do is take the mix in a second and roll it up into the balls, which go in onto the... Now, you also have to roll the balls small enough so that when they start to cook and uh, they do swell or spread out. Yeah. And um, so you wanna make sure they don't overlap so the ball has to be a nice space between each one. Um, on the recipe, my, uh, my gram put, I think it's about 30, 30 grams each ball. And we've doubled up on the ingredients, so 60, but that's gonna be too big. Am I right in saying that, sir? Yeah, and we want little ones. And we want little balls. Zoe says she likes little balls. So, <laughs> so we're gonna just, Roll up the balls in a second. I've got the other camera here. Hopefully I'll pick that up and I've got it set right. So that's just placed there to one side, like so. Just break a little bit off there and roll it round in your hands. We are just gonna just weigh the first one, just to make sure. No? Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect, is it? Yeah, about 20, because we want little ones. Okay. So, place them on the tray, like so. It's quite exciting getting near that bit now where you can try and try the, try the finished article. But, um, <laughs> I remember, remember when Grandpa was alive as well, and Gran used to cook these in front of the, why did she have a little stove, like an old coal, coal stove at the time? And, um, I mean, how did they get the temperatures right? A lot of the cooking years ago was just done by guesswork, I believe. It was. Hmm. But um, I remember Grandpa used to say, oh, she's making any damn biscuits again, but he knew he'd be taking them to work in his lunchbox and everything for the following weeks. I think actually you've got, you've got to be careful because you do start making the balls a bit bigger. To,
Right, anyway, here's the result of what we cooked earlier. Here's the result of what we cooked earlier. It's been in the oven 12 minutes. Go on, give it a try, Zo. Oh, it's got the crunch. It's amazing. It's amazing. Have we got a thumbs up? I've got two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Mm. Nice mug of tea. Have a Merry Christmas, everybody. Hope you enjoy your ginger biscuits. Mm -hmm.